So in this video, we want to look at this proof where we're proving that the square of any odd number is always one more than a multiple of 8. So the first thing we would want to do is we would want to identify k. Let k be uh, an integer. Then 2k plus 1 is an odd number. So we're going to use 2k plus 1 to represent any odd number. Now, we want, we're going to square the odd number. So squaring that, we're going to get 2k plus 1 squared. So that's 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 when we expand the brackets out. OK. So the fact that the proof is wanting us to get to a point where it's always one more than a multiple of 8, the fact that we've got that plus 1 there is a telltale sign that it's one more than something, right? So if I just keep that plus 1 on the outside and I just focus on 4k squared plus 4k now, how else can I write that? Well, I can factor 4k out of those two terms. And I'd have 4k, then k plus 1. And I've got that plus 1 on the end. Now, what I really need to explain here is why 4k, k plus 1 is a multiple of 8. And then, if I've done that, then this is clearly one more than a multiple of 8. Now, k is an integer, remember. So if k is an integer, then k times k plus 1 is the product of two consecutive integers. OK? One must be even, and the other must be odd. It could be even times odd, or odd times even. So even times odd, or odd times even. Either way, these are both even. So k times k plus 1 has a factor of 2. Now, if k, k plus 1 is a factor of 2, we are multiplying that by 4. OK? We know that 4k, k plus 1 already has a factor of 4. So 4k, k plus 1 has a factor of 4 times 2, so 8. We know that 8 has to be a factor of 4k, k plus 1. So, um, so if 4k, k plus 1 has a factor of 8, then 4k, k plus 1 must be a multiple of 8. So 4k, k plus 1 is a multiple of 8. So 4k, k plus 1 plus 1 is 1 more than a multiple of 8. And that is as required, and that concludes it. So we're seeing uh, more of this kind of idea of getting down to this stage of a k, k plus 1, and then looking at even times odd or odd times even uh, as part of the algebraic process.